Uh, so continuing on, uh, the computer ran out of power. And if you hear whining noise, it's hair drying. So I think this is something I've done to. It's my dad's computer. And this computer, actually, when you turn it off, it says other people are logged on, even though no one else is logged on. So they've hacked the shit out of this computer, basically. Um, so yeah, continue on, they are using the Calabrini, uh, they were targeting me heavily with that, these, these locale, like the fuck it's called, as well, very coordinated, uh, gang stalking from the police, some, some ambulance harassment, but not much, mostly the police is what they were using. Uh, also felt like they were trying to run a mafia a few months me as well. Like there was a lot of uh, guys in that mafia style clubs and shit in Sicily, you know, in this uh, Sicily, so it's the mafia and all that shit. But I know they were trying to do guards with suits and shit and you know, all that bullshit. But, um, yeah. They were doing that. Uh, in the building where we were staying, there was like a hut, and they had some people from the UK, they were doing the targeting, they were coughing, making noise late at night, which stops due to the mosquitoes, and me targeting them back. Um, they, they were just doing all the shit, the laughing, the coughing. On the way back, very heavily targeted. They were constantly doing that double cough. That's the main thing they were doing in Italy as well. That <coughs> and that, as I walk past people, they're just doing that. People going past a little bit of one hand in pocket stuff, but mostly the coughing is what they were doing. Um, so yeah, going through the airport yesterday, uh, I guess they'll be telling the police a little bit. Um, so some, I think they used the mind control technology on the woman on our bus taking us back to the hotel because she was saying, oh, I hope you had a good holiday and all this stuff. And then she said something like, I've been a good girl, a good woman, and I, I know what I'm talking about. But the way she said it was very weird. Now, I know, I know something they tried to target me with is uh, people saying good girl when they walk their dog and all this shit. That's something they used to do. Target me, like trying to say I'm a girl or a dog or something like that. So I, I think the mind control her. I could just tell by how she acted with something weird about it. I'm just gonna put this over there. More fuckers can't see me. So, yeah, basically, um, that happened, and then we got there, and then the police started. There's some police on the round down, they start touching the pistols and doing hand signals outside the bus. Um, got in the airport and there wasn't really much targeting from the police, but a hell of a lot of targeting from perps. Perps sitting around me doing the targeting, hand signals, one hand in pocket, mostly British uh, perps. And they started doing that shit again when I'm on the plane. They soon stopped. They, the per, there was a perp behind me, right? He, as I was going on the plane, the seat behind where I was, there was a perp or perps, probably perps, and he had it. He did a hand signal, like he, he touching his mouth and looking in my direction, but not at me. And he, as I was sat down on the, you know how when I went to Madeira, I think they were doing that shit where they were pushing my seat. They started doing that shit again, so. The guy behind me started pushing my seat, so I started banging the seat back, right? And then I guess that wasn't, he felt that wasn't working, so he started pushing his foot. And bear in mind that these seats, right, they had a lot of leg room. There's no need for him to put his foot under the seat and push my foot. So he starts pushing my foot under the seat, so I just booted it, like, not blatantly, but I made it look like an accident, you know what I mean? Or, I just pushed his foot back and he starts going <sighs> like that and all this shit right so then he, I guess he starts with the same shit like poking my seat and shit and my mum said that she was getting that as well like they, 
poking her seat and saying that and she's like, oh well maybe they have long legs. No. Nah. Listen, I've got long legs and my, my legs are nowhere near the the person in front of me seat. The only way you'd be pushing the seat is if you were deliberately doing it, right? And they were constantly doing that. So every time they did, I just went and bashed the back of the seat back. You know, so making it look like I was getting comforting myself, but I did it very aggressively when they did it. And they, they soon stopped that shit. Um, yeah, I mean, this is the kind of stuff they do. They'll follow you abroad. You'll find English people following you abroad if you're a TI in the UK. They'll go on holiday. The perps will go on holiday where you're going to target you. Yeah, I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. Deadly serious that they'll do this. So today, I guess they want to give me a welcome back. I went for a walk. I'm coming back. This, uh dickhead probably I'm certainly uh, I just got that vibe you know this guy gets out of the you know Derbyshire because my mum's in Derbyshire Derbyshire County Council truck 4x4 four four. starts gets out says morning like that and then just gets his phone out and starts playing with his phone as I walk past uh, <laughs> I'm like okay well you know. and then I got the road and then this uh Oh yeah, I've just remembered something happened in Italy. I'll get onto that after this. Um, going up the road, and then there's uh, Amy. They're a big part of the targeting in Sheffield, but since they've branched out to Derbyshire as well now, I see a Seven Trend Water van that says supported by Amy. And a is spelled A M E Y. The clumps basically. They did a bunch of twice, and they they cut down all the trees in Sheffield. And a bunch of dick, dick face twice, you know what I mean? But yeah, this this black guy gets out. As soon, this is something they do a lot, right? If, if you're TI, at least through my experience, if they'll be sat in a vehicle, and as soon as you approach, they'll open the door and get out and start doing stuff. So that happened twice, right? As soon as I approach that uh, Dodge County Council car, Perp gets out. As soon as I approach this Amy Seven Trent Rock Seven Trent Water van, guy gets out, right? So there's something they do, you know, to get your attention. And he's, he's doing all this shit. Like he's pretending to look at some notebook or something and looks in my direction or something like that. So But yeah, I mean they really amped up the targeting in Italy the last few days, even using, they have DPD in Italy by the way, it's called something else but it says part of the DPD group, <laughs> the dump of dick group, as I know I'm back, because you know they use DPD in my targeting all the time, uh, coming back yesterday from East Midlands Airport and there was a DPD lorry, you know, I didn't have my camera, but yeah, they, they love to use DPD to target me to send a subliminal message about the personalization. Um, so yeah, I mean they also had like one of these little scoop no, no if you listen to you'll know what I mean. The Kiagio three wheeler things. That one them do a three point turn right in front of my family on the last day as well and they were like little smirks on the face but it's done in a way where you know something wasn't right about it um, so yeah it's it's basically uh, all the same stuff in Italy and the targeting same tactics same exactly the same tactics one had like oh I forgot yes okay so in I've just remembered this Right in in Napoli Airport, they had when I when I got on the bus, you know the bus that takes you to the plane. It had the one behind mine had one headlight. Right, <laughs> seriously, it had it had. This shows you how deep this stuff goes and how they have infiltrated near enough everything. The the bus that takes you to the plane had one headlight, just like in Napoli Ed Roots videos. Right, one headlight on and then side light on at the side with one burnt out light and then 
if that wasn't enough, you know the little buggy things that lift the um, that lift the uh, luggage. Two of them had one headlight as well, and they were doing hand signals. The, the staff were doing hand signals and shit um, that were loading the plane. So that that just goes to show you how far this stuff goes and how deep entrenched it is in not just the UK in uh, other countries too. This is when people talk about the new world order, this is what they mean, right? It's a network of people connected. No, it's deeper than that, but this is just a small right some it's part of the new world order. And I saw another TI in Italy being targeted as well. I was sat on the uh, maybe they did this so I could see it, I don't know, but I sat on this, it was like this pool overlooking a road and there was this woman coming down and uh, I saw a car go past and honk as she went past as she was walking down and went past and honked and then a guy got off on a scooter started playing with his phone looked at her, played with his phone again and then drove off past her and then she looked really, she could tell by her body language she was uncomfortable like her head was down so it looks like in Sorrento the gang stalking is quite bad because that, you know that's that's another uh, to me that was another TI um, 